Hey everyone and welcome back to VFX Vibe once again. So in today's video, we are going to see how we can compose our atmospheric elements such as fog, mist or smoke inside Nuke. So today we are going to use our 2D elements which we have and also we are going to see how we can create our few elements inside Photoshop and uh, let's see how we have to proceed for the compositing of 2D atmospheric elements inside Nuke. Before starting anything, if you want all these footages which I'm going to use uh, for your practice purposes, you can go to our website www.vfxvibe.com and you can download all footages along with Nuke file from our website. Okay, as you can see over here, I have a footage and you can see easily uh, we have a camera moment which camera is going inside and we have a overcast winter kind of stuff. So what we want, we want to add some sort of atmospheric elements uh, over here and over here. Let's see how we have to proceed further. So first thing first, what we need to do, you need to track this footage because there is a camera moment, right? So uh, to track footage, I'm going to take camera tracker and I'm going to connect it. And if you want to know camera tracking in detail, I have already made plenty of videos you can go and you can check. So in camera tracker, I'm going to settings and probably I'll do 600. It's not mandatory, but uh, you can go and you can do as per your movement. So I think it's pretty okay for me. And since I don't know the camera uh, properties, so I'm going to leave all options as it is. Please don't quote me on that. Uh, you have to calculate your lens distortion and all. Already I have discussed multiple times. So I'm not going to do that in, in this particular uh, example, but you have to go through the lens distortion process as well, right? So I'm going to track it directly and I'll come back once it's done. Okay, so my tracking has been done. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to directly solve this footage and it will solve very quickly. And as I can see, I'm having a good amount of track point, but a few of them is rejected. So what I have to do, just go to auto tracks and you can select uh, these three. And as you can see, I'm getting solve error is uh, 0.66, which is all fine for me. Only I'm going to hit reject, uh, selected, uh, delete rejected and uh, delete unsolved. So I don't think so. I need to refine it because my solve error is already under one. So here I'm going to create my scene quickly and in camera tracker, probably I'll go over here and then double click on my camera tracker and I'll go to right side. And what I'm going to do, I'm going in scene and probably I'll go to do this, something like that. So I need to adjust the ground plane. I'll rotate it, something like that. And I'll go to front and I can see it's rotated. I'll try to fix it, something like that. And probably I need to lower it down. I'm not going to do deep into that because already I have discussed multiple times. So my ground plane is, has been adjusted. So another thing what I need to do, I need to create a scanline uh, render. So I have to go to scanline render and object will be this and my camera will be this, right? So if I'm going to play it, you will be easily uh, see that my camera is moving inside, right? So now here is the fun part. Let's add our 2D elements and see how we can place it, right? So my first 2D element is this and uh, probably I'll, I'll use this one or this one. I'll use this one, right? So I have three elements and one element is of PNG. How I created that, I used a brush something like that. You can easily see I have a brush. So I created few strokes and I saved it in PNG. If you want, you can download any cloud brush or dust brush uh, from internet and you can use it to create these kind of effect as well. So I'll, I'll tell you both way how we can do that. So I'm going to use my first element right and if you want these elements that particular scan plate our website having discount on this assets only for first 100 subscribers if you are going to download it now you will get all these assets in just 21 rupees right so it will be only for first 100 subscribers so go and grab it so let's move forward and what i'm going to do as you can see i have my usd 4k but my this footage is 19201080 so what i'm going to do i'm going 
in camera tracker and I'm going to select the farmost point which will be this or might be this. So I'm going to right click and create and create card. So what will happen? It will automatically create one card for me. So I'm going to connect it with scene. So as you can see, let's hit F. So I have my card. I have my camera. So I can see easily. Yes, it's it's a little far behind. So if I want, I can push it little backward, not more. So what else I want if I'm going to connect it directly? So what will happen? A black something will come. So there are multiple ways to fix it. I can key it out with the help of keyer or what I'm going to do because I'm not going to use that much area. So I'm going to hit a roto node and I'm going to select a little something like that and might be I'll push forward and I'm going to hit E to give a little feather and you need to understand if it's 4K your roto should be 4K. So take a reformat node and I'm going to connect it to UHD 4K and if you'll see it's all gone. So I need to rearrange it. I'll take merge node and I will mask it right. So if I want I can change any time. I want this area. Now I'm going to render it. So uh, again, it's point clouds are coming. So already I'll go to over here render. I'll, I'll switch it off, right? So as you can see, it's coming pretty weird, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a merge node and this will be my background, right? And this will be my foreground. So let's connect it. Let's arrange it like this. And let's see what I'm getting. It's not matching at all, right? So what I need to do, I need to adjust my card. Probably I'll push it little upwards or right side. And it might possible I can take grade node, right? Because it's too dull, right? And also I can take a blur node to feather it out a little more. Now it's taking some shape. Right. So what else I want? Uh, as you can see, I'm not getting my color because in environment there is bluish. But over here in our 2D element, it's it's like gray. Right. So what I can do, I can take a grade node, one more grade node and I'll go to gamma and probably I'll start giving some sort of tint, not this much, but it's looking already fine. So in gamma and probably in gain as well, a little, a little hint. So now you can see it started matching and if you want, you can adjust your white point just to give some more variation or more dense cloud or dense fog kind of stuff. So same way, if I'm going to play it, what will happen? So my this smoke is moving, right? So what will happen? It will create some sort of weird thing. So normally what happens now in winter days, uh, the fog or smoke is only moving if there is a uh, wind. But in this case, we don't have wind. So can you see that it's more looking like smoke or fire smoke kind of stuff. So I don't want this movement. So what I'll do, I'll take a frame hold node and I'll add it or probably I'll frame hold at frame number 10 might be. So what will happen now? You'll have a static kind of fog, right? So same way what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly add few more fogs. So what I can do, I can copy this, paste it and probably I'll copy this frame hold. I'm going to change my frame hold value to 150. What will happen? Some sort of variation I'll get, right? So I'm going to connect this and again, I'm going to connect it in scene. Let's view through scene and this time I'm going to do this, probably this, right? Or if you want, you can change distance or might be you can rotate it a little, something like that. So what will happen? You'll, you'll get some sort of variation, right? So you can see I have two more fog layers, right? One is this and one is this. Can you see that? Now I'll fill this area as well. Same way I'm going to copy it. I'm going to paste it. Same way I need frame hold. And this time again, I'm going to do probably 250. So I'll get some variation and I'm going to copy it. Or you, if you want, you can use another elements as well. But for the sake of time, I'm going to do that. So probably this time I'll, I'll do this and I'll go over here and might be I can rotate it something like that, right? I'll rotate it this time as per my point cloud and I'll keep it here and might be I need to rotate a little more some sort of things. 
let's see our final output yeah i'm getting something right if you want you can scale it or you can change the position as well it might possible i can scale it a little and i can change the position can you see that now you'll have some variation same way if you want to use another element so i'm going over here and probably i'll use this element as well so i'm going to do same thing i'm going to select some area i'm going to take a roto node and probably i'll use reformat and blur for sure right so this will be this because my elements are of 4k control c control v and probably i'll select this area if i want i can do this right it's all up to you and what i'm going to do probably last card if you want you can take new card as well but i know i have to do all the positions and all that's why i'm doing it and in 3d i'm going to double click over here and this time i'm going to rotate it little more because it's towards front and i'm going to place it over here as well so little further and let's check the final i think i need to change the position something like that if you want you can scale it little more so it will cover no not this this much i think this much will be good and again you need to uh, give it a color so i'm going to copy these two grades and probably i'll paste it over here and keep it in mind you need to frame hold right so i'm going to take another frame hold because this will be the another element and i'm going to frame hold it so same way i am going to connect my all uh, elements and i'll come back once it's done okay so i'm back with the uh, my final comp and what i did i did multiple things like i have used a few more assets you can see easily you can see over here right some some asset up back side some assets on ground some asset on mid ground and some assets i have used in front of camera right so this will be my final comp and the way i have showed you earlier the same way i have used all cards i have placed in different different depths so that we will have that uh, parallax kind of stuff so i think this video will help you to understand the process of adding any 2d elements inside nuke and i hope this video will be very helpful to you If you think that this video is helpful to you please don't forget to like this video share this video and if you're new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to visit our website with this said this is wfxy signing off have a good day